What's going on everyone? CJ back here with another episode of the Madden 23 Cupcake Relocation Franchise. So last week we lost a heartbreaker to the Jacksonville Jaguars on that missed field goal by Justin Rohrwasser that would have tied it up and sent it into overtime, especially on a day where our defense, who has been nowhere, has been non-existent this year, showed up big. Janoris Jenkins had an interception, his first of the season. He also had two fumble recoveries. Our boy Dick Lacunte had a forced fumble. We had a sack, half a sack from Porter Gustin, half a sack from Javon Hargrave. After all all that said and done, we end the game by missing a field goal that would have sent it in a, into overtime. But you know what? We're not going to dwell on it. We're moving on. This week, we get to pick our team name, which is super exciting. I did decide to move the team to Austin in the last episode. Uh, so for choices, we have the Desperados. We have the Bats. And we have the Armadillos. So I am going to go with the Armadillos. The Armadillos have some badass uniforms. I love their uniforms. And uh, I think they're pretty cool. I think their stadium's cool. So we're going to be next year the Austin Armadillos. So get used to that name. We're going to be saying it a lot. And hopefully a change of scenery can maybe spark something and, and turn this terrible team around. So... Before we dive into the next game against the Raiders, we are in our bye week. I want to square up a couple contracts here. Not many people that I'm going to bring back for sure. A lot of question marks like Javon Hargrave, um, also and Dominican Sue, not sure. But I know for a fact I want to bring back Tony Pollard. Uh, he's an 82 rated star development player. Our next best thing right now is Alex Collins. I don't know about giving him a five year contract. He wants a five year contract, five year, twenty seven and a half million dollars. I'm not sure about that. Uh, he is interested in joining our team, though, so that's good. So let's see if we can just potentially give him a four year contract, maybe for a little bit less money, let's say. Four years, 21 mil. Let's see if he accepts that offer. No longer term commitment, no deal. So it looks like we may have to bring Pollard back on a five-year deal. We'll check that next episode. But I also want to bring back Tavier Thomas. Now, he has not played this year. He's a really good young corner. He was injured this year, but next year he will be eligible to play again. He also has interest in joining our team. So he wants... Two years, 6.2 mil. Uh, let's we'll keep it at two years, 6.4, which will, what they have it at. And he is excited to sign such a great offer and stay with the team. So Tavier Thomas will be coming back. Tony Pollard will check him again next week. I do want to try to bring him back, however. And I have also decided we can bring in one more free agent. We did sign one so far, that being in Dominican Sue. We have one more free agent that we can sign, and I know who I want to pick up. I am going to pick up former Packer Ha Ha Clinton Dix. <laughs> Eight-year player from Alabama. Ha Ha Clinton Dix had some really good years with Green Bay, and I think that even though he's a veteran, hasn't played in a little while, that he can make a difference on our team. So Ha Ha Clinton Dix, I have the bobblehead right here. That's my guy, Green Bay Packers legend, and uh, we're gonna see if we're gonna see if Mr. Clinton Dix can uh, can spark anything on our team, and uh, you know he's gonna be playing above Dick Lacunte, so we're replacing the Dick with the Dix. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Uh, so. That being said, we also have to cut one player as well. Um, doesn't really matter too much. We'll, we'll cut Elijah Holder since we just brought on a free safety. Also, here's something uh, very interesting. Check out who leads the NFL in receptions. That's right. Our buddy, our guy, Bobo Wilson. 40 catches on the year. One more than Stefan Diggs and five more than Justin Jefferson. He's also up there in receiving yards as well. Fifth in the league. So how about Mr. Wilson making a splash? He, uh, you know, he is definitely going to be back with our team next year. And we also have John Menchie, the third, our rookie, 
who is also hurt this year, and I might use him as trade stock, honestly. We'll see how it goes. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but that is something that we could definitely potentially do. Coming out of our bye week, we also get to choose a uniform as well, and I personally like these uniforms. I like Style 1 the best. I've rocked, it, rocked this team and rocked these unis and a couple other franchises of mine in the past. So we're going to go with Style 1. Let's also see if we can get Pollard back on this five-year deal. He has interest, so he should be willing to take it for less money. But I think to be safe, we're going to offer Pollard five years, $28 million. He should take that. That's a good offer. I'm glad we got the deal done. Thank you, Mr. Pollard. We are also glad as well. You are going to be our running back for the foreseeable future. So we take on Vegas this week in Vegas. Let's hop in and take a quick look at their roster. Vegas is a good team. I feel like they're going to be a pretty formidable foe, and they're going to give us a pretty good challenge. So let's just take a look at their roster, see what we're working with. Obviously, they have Derek Carr, the eight-year vet from Fresno State. Pretty decent player. Now, this is huge. Josh Jacobs, their star running back, will not be playing this week. He is injured. So, they have two rookies starting at halfback. They have Zamir, Zamir White, who's their fourth-round pick this year. And they also have Britton Brown, who was their seventh-round pick this year. So, two rookies will be in the backfield. Huge advantage for us by them not having... Josh Jacobs, Jacob Johnson at fullback, wide receiver, we have Voldemort himself, he who shall not be named. I say that because I'm a Packers fan and that one's still a tough pill to swallow. We have Hunter Renfro, also a very good wide receiver. Keelan Cole Sr., Albert Wilson the second, pretty good wide receiving core. Darren Waller, great X-Factor tight end. Foster Moreau backing him up. Colton Miller will be the left tackle. He's a really good left tackle, 83 rated in this team. John Simpson, left guard from Clemson. He's okay, not really that good. Andre James is their center. Chris Reed at right guard. Lester Cotton Sr. backing him up. Right tackle, they have Jermaine Ilua Muner. I probably butchered that. I know I'm, I'm not familiar with him. Five-year player from Texas A&M will be at, on the right side. Jerry Hughes Jr., who is a former Texan, as a matter of fact. I believe we cut him in the first episode. Really good defensive end. He'll be starting on the left side. On the right side, we have Belial Nichols. Uh, and then Jonathan Hankins, the Ohio State Buckeye. Starting D-tackle, Neil Farrell Jr., rookie from LSU, starting behind him. Max Crosby, really good player, will be left rush side, three-year pro from Eastern Michigan. We've had to face Khalil Mack. We got destroyed by Khalil Mack. He had five sacks. Josh Allen had three and a half last week. So will Max Crosby continue that trend? Probably, I would say so. Denzel Perryman, middle linebacker, and then Jayon Brown behind him. A lot of Bruins on this on this roster, I see. A lot of UCLA, UCLA alum. Chandler Jones, very good player. He had all those great years with Arizona. Very old in this game, but also still an X factor. He was also the winner of Super Bowl 49. That was a uh, that thrilling Patriots versus Seahawks game where everybody felt that uh, Pete Carroll should have handed the ball off to beast mode. And of course, we know that he did not. And we know what happened in that game. Nate Hobbs at cornerback, Rocky Sin behind him, Anthony Everett, third string, free safety. They have Deron Harmon. Strong safety, they have Jonathan Abram kicking the ball. Daniel Carlson, very good kicker. A.J. Cole the third, very good punter. So a very good kicking room. So uh, season has gone just about as we expected so far. We're one and four. Titans are one and four as well. You know, this is going to be a tough game, even without Josh Jacobs, which is huge. That will play a big impact, I'm sure. This is going to be a tough game. Vegas has a lot of great players, a lot of X Factors, a lot of soup, two superstars. We have none. So uh, this is going to be a very tough game. But, you know, at some point you figure we've made a lot of additions so far, made the additions that we could anyways. We've added Ha Ha Clinton Dix, Javon Hargrave, and Dominican Sue. Tony Pollard. You know, our offense is clicking. Our defense kind of started to figure it out. So what's going to happen this week? You know, 
I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. I'm really thirsty for a victory. If we don't get it, I won't be surprised. But damn it, I want it. I definitely want it. So let's go down to Vegas and check out what's going to happen. So we are ready to kick this thing off live from Allegiant Stadium. The 1-4 Texans going up against the 3-2 and two Raiders. Should be a tough battle. I'm really worried about Devontae Adams. I feel like especially with uh, Josh Jacobs being out this game, we're probably going to have to throw some double teams. Really, if we can just get pressure. Finally, last week against Trevor Lawrence, we were able to generate some type of pressure, which was nice. And honestly, that kept us in that game. Even though, yes, I realize we lost that game. That pressure causing Lawrence to force turnovers really kept us in it as Zamir White, the rookie from Georgia, rushes for two. But that, I think, is going to be key. Uh, you know, we're going to have to make Derek Carr beat us with his arm. And he can definitely do that. He's proven that over the years, that he can definitely do that. So if we can get back there, force some turnovers, just like that, we were able to get pressure. That is going to be how, if possible, how we can win this game. So third and eight here. Early chance to get our defense off the field. Early chance to get a three and out. That would be very, very big for us. Let's see if we can make it happen. Carr will drop back. He has plenty of time surveying the field. And that will be a catch and a completion to Keelan Cole. Carr had just enough time. He hung back there in the pocket. He worked that pocket like he was looking for a loose change. And... And Dominican Sue was rushing in there, or I'm sorry, that's Javon Hargrave. He was rushing in there, almost got to him. Carr lofted a wounded duck up there, and Keelan Cole was able to track it down. So Raiders able to convert on an early third down. Chance to get our D off the field. Didn't happen. They'll come out first and 10. Ball nearly on midfield. Carr with time again. That'll be a pass, but caught out of bounds. So second and 10 here. Ball very close to midfield on the 48-yard line. We're going to throw a little bit of man coverage at him. Devontae Adams is out there. Darren Waller is out there. Carr with all day to throw yet again. He will continue to look, and he has a man. That is Keelan Cole again. So that pressure I was talking about, so far it's not happening. And I don't care if you're Derek Carr. I don't care if you're Luke McCown. I don't care if you're Davis Mills. I don't care if you're the starting quarterback of a Pee Wee football team. If you have that much time to throw, you're going to hit your targets. Doesn't matter who you are. So first and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Carr will come out shotgun with three receivers to his right. That will be a give to White, and White takes it up for a gain of about six. Zamir White, rookie from uh, Georgia, the Georgia Bulldog, thrust into instant starter mode with the injury to Josh Jacobs. Carr will drop back again. He has time yet again. That'll be a catch and not a completion. That pass was broken up. Want to see more of that, too. I feel like so far in uh, our franchise, it's been either completion or interception, mostly completion. We don't have that many picks, but uh, not a lot of pass breakups, as there was a chance for one. But Danny Trevathan not able to wrap him up, and Hunter Renfro is able to haul that thing in. So Danny Trevathan, we were just talking about him last week, still waiting for that big play, still waiting for him to make some type of noise. He hasn't really had a great season. Had a chance there with Hunter Renfro right in his grill, but uh, just couldn't get to the ball, couldn't make a play. So Vegas is moving pretty easily here. We had a couple chances to stop him but we weren't able to convert and now they find themselves on the 13 yard line car will come out single back he's going to drop back to pass he has a wide open wide open darren waller who just strolls into the end zone like he's walking down the park on a sunny sunday afternoon nobody there guarding him doesn't get much easier than that and defense just look confused out there 
So Darren Waller able to give Vegas the opening drive points. Waller should have a pretty good game today. I suspect that uh, him and Adams combined, although Adams, I don't even think he was targeted on that first drive. So here comes Cam Newton. Played decent last week, had the one interception, but all things considered, definitely better than he played in the L.A. Chargers game. That game he got benched, of course. I did set the focus this week to run outside. I want to see if Tony Pollard, I really want him to have a, a explosion this game. Uh, that would be wonderful. He had a decent game last week. He did find the end zone. More of a packed factor in the passing game, I feel like. And there he had a little bit of space, but nothing materialized. And he was wrapped up by Jayon Brown. So second and eight now. Cam will come out single back. Got to watch Chandler Jones here on this outside. Also Max Crosby on the other side. Both of those two guys could be a threat today. Could make a long day for Cam. And we have Westbrook open in the middle of the field. D.D. Westbrook catches it. Able to pick up about five on the play. Sure you guys all remember that fourth down that I decided to go for deep in our own territory last week. If you watched that episode, we will not be doing that again. But we could have JoJo Natson here on single coverage. We do. I don't like the read. I do like... Is that Mohamed Sanu? I believe. Yes, it is. I like Sanu in the middle of the field. We had some time to throw. And if we have time to throw, Cam can... Well, <laughs> let me think about that. I was going to say if we had time to throw, Cam can make some good passes. But we've seen a lot of poor passes this season. That was a good one, though. Mohamed Sanu able to move the chains. Big third down conversion early to start this game off. So we'll come out in the eye form here on first down. Clock approaching five minutes. We're going to run it out of the eye with Pollard. I don't like anything that I could audible into, I don't believe. So we'll keep it on the ground with Pollard here. Pollard does make a man miss. Able to pick up four. He was able to turn some he was able to turn nothing into something. See if we can get Tony going on a little draw. Although I do like the defense that they're showing me on this. And I believe I will audible out of this one. I'm gonna be looking at Bobo or Ricky Seals Jones here. We have Bobo, and he almost caught it off of the bobble. Wow. <laughs> Not the best decision in the world, but Bobo Wilson almost caught that thing off of the bobble. That would have been tremendous. And at this point, you kind of kind of come to expect that from Bobo Wilson. He's done a lot of that this year. A lot of huge catches in clutch situations. So third and six now. Important conversion. We have a bunch to the right. And there is D.D. Westbrook. That's his spot in the middle of the field. D.D. Westbrook able to make another catch, his second on the drive. And that one is good for a first down. So two third downs now that we're able to convert. That was something that we had a little bit of trouble with last week in Jacksonville. And I think that is what led us to our untimely demise. Still a little salty about that game. That game was, uh, I probably felt the best about that game that I have uh, is any game so far. Does that make sense? I don't know. What I'm trying to say is we should have won that game, okay? But we didn't. So Cam will come out, play fake. We have, is that Westbrook it looks like? And Westbrook will make the catch. We pass let him down. Beautiful dot by Cam. I was looking at Ricky Seals Jones initially. I almost went to him, but I saw Meek Mill get that hit that soft spot in the zone coverage. I passed, let him down. Westbrook's able to adjust, and that is a bomb from Cam Newton to start this thing out. Gotta love that. So first and ten now, deep in, Ra in uh, Raiders territory. Westbrook already with 45 yards in this game. Gotta love that. There's Tameric Hemingway. We're gonna send him in motion. See if we can, uh, uh, Pollard has blockers. He does have blockers. Wow. I thought he was going to be wrapped up in the backfield. That's why I stopped talking. But he was able to make some men miss. Tony Pollard 
Really, really big run there for a gain of nine. That could have been disastrous, but Pollard had just enough speed to cut that thing to the outside, avoid a couple blocks, and pick up nine. So we're going to reward Pollard by going to him again. This could be very close. Pollard able to take it to the three-yard line, and I think that we stick with Pollard. Uh, Pollard, we had a drive last week against Jacksonville where every single play of the drive was a give to Pollard. And how did that drive end? It ended in points. So we have three, possibly four tries to do it again. I like this formation. I like what the defense is showing us. And we are going to stick with Pollard. Pollard will get it, and he will find the end zone to potentially tie this up. I am not going to say anything else about kicks from Justin Rohrwasser after what happened last week. But Pollard, take that money out the bank, my friend, because you just got it. Big five-year contract extension, and he's going to let these uh, Raiders fans know about it. Kick is up and good from Justin Rohrwasser. Of course, there's no wind here in Allegiant Stadium. That was uh, one of the reasons why we missed that game-tying field goal last week. That and Doug Peterson iced us. But uh, we had wind, I think it was about eight miles going to the left. And that is why we missed it. But Justin Rohrwasser able to drill that extra point through. And Raiders will get it for the second time. Game tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Derek Carr will come back out here. Let's see if we can get a little bit of pressure on him this, this drive, this possession. We almost did last possession, but we gave Carr way too much time. And he was able to dot us up and find his receivers. So let's see if we can make him hurry up a little bit now. He is going to come out shotgun. Two receivers to his right. He'll send a man in motion. That's Devontae Adams. Carr will drop back. And that will be a pick. And look who it is, buddy. That is our new addition. Ha, ha, Clinton, Dix. Welcome to the Texans. We just picked you up. Second drive of the game. You get a pick six. That is the Packers legend right there. And if Dick LeCounte was playing that spot, would we have gotten that? I mean, I don't like our chances, but how about that? Just picked up Ha Ha Clinton Dix, and he is able to pick six Derek Carr, and that will be a kick. Didn't look good. I know I've said this a few times, but there is some type of delay going on with my kicking meter. I don't know if it's because I have my capture card hooked up, but... I used, I mean, I feel like I've been great at kicks my whole Madden playing career, which I started playing back in, I think, Madden 05, uh, whichever one. I think that was the one that had Ray Lewis on the cover. Maybe. I don't remember. But something's going on with this kicking meter, man. And uh, I don't like our chances every time we bring out Roarwasser to boot. But how about that? Ha ha, Clinton Dix making a huge impression in his first game as a Texan. So Carr possibly a little bit shook now. Let's see if he uh, hands his ball off to Zamir White. He will. And Zamir White is not able to get wrapped up in the backfield. We're able to bring him down, but after a big gain of eight. All right, so second and two here after the good run by Zamir White. Let's see if Carr goes back to him here. He will again. No, it's a play fake, actually. And he has a man wide open. That is White out of the backfield. Good play fake there. He definitely faked me as I kept going. I kept pushing with Danny Shelton and Javon Hargrave. So first quarter winding down here, 14 to seven in favor of the Texans. Carr will come out eye form and that will be again. There is Danny Trevathan. We were just talking about how he has not made any impact so far this year and he is able to shoot that a gap not fooled by the play fake and he wraps up Derek Carr very very nice play from Danny Trevathan we really need that Danny Trevathan welcome to the Texans and already we have full momentum I'm not sure if we have had full momentum yet in any game and that is going to be a huge catch by Darren Waller just wide open. Ha ha Clinton Dix. The man responsible for that pick six is able to wrap him up. But Waller just had all the space in the world there. Nobody guarding him. Looks like our entire defense was fooled by that play fake. But not a bad first quarter, right? All things considered. We have a pick six. 
We have a sack. We have a drive ending in a touchdown. Um, so I am not mad at that at all. Carr will come out single back here. Zamir White in the backfield. Two receivers to his left. He's going to drop back to pass. We have more pressure, and that is Javon Hargrave. Sack number two. Ever since last week, our defense has been stepping up big time. And up until last week, I didn't know if we had a defense. Actually, as a matter of fact, I do, I do know we did not. Porter Gustin was also in there. He had a half of a sack last week. So defense, defense wins games. If we are going to win this game, it is going to be because of our defense. I am 100% confident in that. So Carr will come out shotgun, trips to the right. See if we can uh, hold him to at least a field goal minimum on this drive. And he has a man. That's Devontae Adams. But an early breakup by Janoris Jenkins. Also had an interception last week as well. So far, knock on wood, I'm not even going to say it. Nope. I'll tell you at the end of the game what I was gonna, what I was thinking right here. I'm not going to say it. Carr will drop back to pass. He has receivers getting open downfield. Plenty of time. And that we had Indomitian Sue out there. Did you guys see that? This is how freaked out I was by the pass. Look at Indomitian Sue. Big boy himself running almost to the end zone. I don't care, man. I don't care. When you got Devontae Adams, when you got Darren Waller, of course, that was uh, Keelan Cole. But when are you ever going to see Indomitian Sue? That could be a thumbnail right there. Maybe that should be a thumbnail. Bruh. Uh, but I don't care, man. I'm not taking any chances this game. We're able to hold the Raiders to a field goal here. Daniel Carlson will come out, try to cut into this lead a bit. And he will. He is true right down the center. So offense stepping out to the field now for the second time. Of course, they didn't get a chance to step out last time because ha -ha, Clinton Dix took this thing all the way into the end zone, which I am not upset about. I will live with that any day of the week and twice on Sunday, as they say. And uh, guess what? Just so happens to be Sunday, right? So not really sure where I'm going there with that one, but you guys get it. First and 10 from the 19. Cam's going to drop back in the shotgun to pass. We have our man Bobo Wilson. Cam was hit on the throw, but Bobo came back to it. Could have been disastrous there, but instead it's a pickup of good yardage and a completion to Bobo Wilson. All right, so third and 15 here. Let's see, see what we can do. Uh, we have three receivers to our right. Seals Jones, our tight end included. We also have Muhammad Sanu. I did hot route him, but I'm going to actually keep him on a streak because he is getting pressed pretty tight. And we have a man there. That is, we were looking at Bobo Wilson's way. He was not able to come down with it. They had a man in coverage, and they were able to swat that away. That was Jayon Brown. So not a great drive there. Don't know why I went away from Pollard. Um, I wanted to try to get the passing game going. Johnny Townsend will boot this thing away. It's nearly blocked, and there should be a flag there. Tell me how that's not a flag. Tell me how that is not running into the kicker, please. Let's run that back if we can. If that is us, that's running into the kicker. If that's real NFL, I mean, he he drops Johnny Townsend. No. That was Jayon Brown. He runs right into him. I don't know, man. I think that Madden decides when Madden wants to call penalties. And that time, the Madden gods were not in our favor. Check out my YouTube short, Madden Gods Be Like. It's pretty funny. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, that is near. You got to be kidding me. Wow, that was nearly picked by Jack Rabbit Jenkins and almost hauled in by Devontae Adams on the bobble. So we avoid disaster on that play. We're going to audible to man coverage here. Carr's going to come out single back. He's going to look to drop back and pass. And he has Devontae Adams. First catch of the game. First time that the Fresno State alumni have hooked up together. Yeah, as a Packers fan just heartbroken can't say i blame Devontae adams although packers did offer him more money um but you know it's kind of funny raiders season going just about as well as the packers and uh that is a huge catch and a huge completion to foster moreau completely defense completely bit on the play fake there but yeah, Raiders season going equally as bad as Green Bay's so far this year. So I guess 
Devontae Adams, damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? Because although, you know, the Packers had kept Adams, they might be in a better position. Hard to say, though, but... Anyways, Carr will come out I form. It's another play fake. Carr is loving these play fakes. We have pressure, and Dominican Sue was not able to get to him. He was just too slow. What do you know? Another play fake. And that could be a... Oh, we just got mossed. Keelan Cole getting many targets in this game. I switched on to Janoris Jenkins, and he just got completely owned by Keelan Cole. Five-year pro from Kentucky. Carr with the fadeaway shot there and Janoris Jenkins had that big play last week which was nice but other than that he's gotten beat quite a bit so back and forth teeter-totter affair here so far in Vegas 17-14 now your score we had a good opening drive last drive was not so good and I think we need to mix up the play calling a little bit we're gonna go back to Pollard uh, I think Pollard needs to we set running the ball to our game plan before this game and I think that we need to hold true to that and we're going to look to get Pollard a little bit more involved in this offense he will shake a few defenders picks up a gain of four nothing big uh, but those are the kind of plays we need just you know four to five yard gains I'm okay with that and we're going to come out shotgun here let's put Seals Jones on a little out route and Cam will look to possibly hit him. We have Sanu, middle of the field. He jumps up, climbs the ladder to make a catch. Not able to convert, but will make this a third and very manageable. So third down here, you would hate to see the defense. You would hate to see the Raiders defense force us off the field on a three and out. That wouldn't be good. But Pollard gets it, fights forward, needed a yard, got two. Pollard's able to keep the keep the drive going here. Get the chain gang moving. Gonna mix it up and do a little little play fake off of the uh, off of the motion that we're gonna send Westbrook on here. And ball on the 36 yard line. Cam will get the snap. He'll drop back. We have Bobo Wilson open. No one's guarding him. Look at Bobo. Look at my men. Junior. Love it when we call his name. If you guys are watching this series, if you guys are following this series, give me a hashtag Bobo down there in the comments because Bobo Wilson is the man, the myth, and the legend. Bobo is him. I'm telling you. If you haven't heard yet, Bobo is him. He is that dude. And he has been stepping up big. Give me a hashtag Bobo in the comments if you're an avid watcher of this uh, Cupcake Relocation franchise. We're going to go to him again. Reward him with more, more targets. Bobo, of course, leading the league in receptions this year. To everyone's surprise, I am sure. If you told me going into this franchise that... Bobo Wilson Jr. was going to lead the league in receptions in week, what is this, week seven, week eight? I would have told you uh, to lay off the rocks. You know what I mean? But he is. There we go. There's Pollard with some space. Can he make a man miss? He can. And that was the run outside that we game planned for. Got to get that. Got to work that into our arsenal more. Got to get that going. I feel like we're going to have a, a tough time Excellent. running the ball inside, especially with Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, setting some pressure, shooting through those gaps. So if we can get Pollard going on the outside, I think that would be ideal. Maybe able to catch Vegas napping. So Cam will hand it off here. It is a run. We do. Pollard picks up about eight. And so far, Tony Pollard, nine rushes, 48 yards, and a touchdown. And this is a big third down. I don't want to kick a field goal here. And also, if we can convert this, we'll be able to take this thing down pretty close to halftime. So Pollard will cut back, and he will get the conversion. Looked like a man was going to be in there to wrap him up in the backfield, but Pollard was able to juke to the right. We used that new hard cut. Rocky Sin was there to 
to make the tackle. We use that new hard cut that Madden right there, if you saw it. And I kind of like that. I will say, though, if you're holding turbo and you hard cut at the same time, I don't like that. I don't like the animation that it gives you. Anytime I hard cut, generally, I am not pressing the right trigger. Uh, I let off of the turbo and then I make my hard cut. I think it works better that way. So just a little Madden 101. If you want to take it from the guy who's one and four, <laughs> go for it. All right, so we're letting this clock tick down a bit here. Maybe too much, but uh, yeah, we need to snap this ball, don't we? Sitting here flapping my gums too much and almost didn't get the playoff. Pollard with the speed, he hits the left edge. We got a good block there. I think that was Tyrell Crosby who hit that block for us. Tony Pollard with the speed, second touchdown of the day. So our two newest acquisitions making immediate impacts, Tony Pollard and my man, Ha Ha Clinton Dix. But the question is, is a minute and 10 seconds too much time for Derek Carr? For us, rather. Perfectly timed kick. We're going to find out. Ball from the 25-yard line. Carr will drop back to pass. And he has Devontae Adams, who is, they say, catch. Couldn't tell there for a second if they said no catch or catch, but that is a good catch from Adams. So first and 10 now. Ball very close to midfield. Carr will come out empty. See if we can get some men in the backfield here. We got to cause Carr to rethink this. And that was almost a pick from Janoris Jenkins. He got mossed a few plays ago by Keelan Cole. He almost made up for it there. He did make up for it. He caused the pass breakup. But we need those turnovers, man. That is what we need right now. So Carr going to come out shotgun again a minute to go. He'll drop back to pass. He's looking, he's looking, he's surveying, and he is finding a man that's Darren Waller. God almighty has all the time in the world back there. And again, I don't care if you are any one of the quarterbacks that the Cleveland Browns have had since the year 2000. If you have that much time, you're going to find open players. Keelan Cole getting a healthy portion here, healthy portion of targets from Derek Carr yeah Carr just with too much time back there way too much time so he is going to come out shotgun with Devontae Adams Hunter Renfro to his left and he has Josh Jacobs open in the flat if he'll take it and that's Devontae Adams Devontae Adams able to convert or should I say Voldemort he who shall not be named even though I just named him like three times, I don't care. That's still my guy, though. No love lost for Devontae. He's one of the great receivers in the NFL. Wish he would have stayed with the cheese, but he didn't. And now we have 40. That was a very that was a very quick drive. That drive took 20-something seconds, man. You can't have that. But now we have 42 seconds to left before halftime. All three of our timeouts to work with as well. So, are we able to orchestrate something to at least get into field goal range for Justin Rohrwasser? I don't know, but we could. JoJo Natson not helping our cause at all, only able to get it to the 21-yard line. So, third and 10 here. Can we get into field goal range for Rohrwasser? That is the question. Or can we get more, possibly? Let's just not do anything dumb, and we're going to get sacked. Back and forth contest here. Seesaw affair. Lots of goods, some not so goods, but we do get the ball to start. Tony Pollard having a good a good game. Our defense has had its moments, although we have given up some huge plays for Derek Carr as well. But we have an interception. We have a couple sacks. Most importantly, we have a chance. Gotta choose defend the deep pass. Carr just carved us up, especially on those play fakes. I feel like he either had Keelan Cole, uh, you know, somebody was open down there. Darren Waller a couple times. Foster Moreau, I think, was open a couple times as well. But he really tore us to shreds on those deep passes. I kept the game plan to run outside with Pollard. Obviously, you see the stats there, 11 for 62. We are going to look to keep him involved, most definitely. But we're going to come out empty to start this. 
Ball on the 19-yard line. We have JoJo Nats and our speedster making a great catch. We pass, let him to the left. Jayon Brown had a chance at that thing. But that was a good – now, see, tell me how Cam Newton can make a pass like that, but he can't hit a wide-open Seals Jones with no pressure in his face. That doesn't make any sense. Start getting the Damon Sanders jerseys ready. I think that we will uh, probably take him in the draft, but who knows? I mean, I can say that we will take him at some point unless we find another quarterback who's better. It just all depends on when. And we have D.D. Westbrook open, number 83, also having a good game. He had, I think, 45 yards in the first half. He's going to continue to add to that total here. And we are moving the sticks. I know you like how I said we're going to keep Pollard involved. And so far on this drive, we haven't uh, given him the ball once, right? That Ooh. is C.J. Smalls as a coach. But nonetheless, first and 10, ball from the 50, right at midfield on the Raiders logo. This time we will give it to Pollard, and he does have some space. Not able to make, if we had one more blocker, that could have been a big run. We didn't have enough room there, uh, but we were able to get a gain of five, which you're not mad about. You'll take that, right? Going to look to keep it moving with Pollard. We're going to send Wilson in motion, just see if we can... Uh, Confuse the defense a little bit. Probably not, but Pollard is able to get it very close. So far, early evaluation of Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard is making the first man miss, which I love. I love that. That is something that our, our buddy Alex Collins, although he had his moments a few times, uh, he really wasn't able to do too much of that. Pollard, however, has been. This time, he will be stuffed short. That's a fourth and one. What to do, what to do. I'll tell you what we're not doing. We're not kicking a 58-yard field goal with Justin Rohrwasser. That will not be happening. Let's come out and, oh, God, they are just giving us, I mean, come on, guys. What do you expect me to do? They're giving us the middle on that QB sneak. I was going to come out in the QB sneak formation and just kind of see see what they were giving us uh and <laughs> nobody was there in the middle of that field so i mean how do you not do it right we're able to convert though and uh, we have seals jones open in the middle of the field cam missed him several times on that exact same play last week has missed him a couple times today at least once as you see ricky getting his first catch of the day it's a good one for 18 yards though so third and three here ball on the 14 five minutes to go until the fourth quarter Field goal will tie it, which is nice, but that's not what we want. We have Chase Allen, the man, the myth, Fabio himself. Bruh. I like Chase Allen, man. I've said this a couple times. Hasn't had a whole lot of catches this year, but every time we call Chase Allen's name, it's a big play. You know, he has a couple touchdowns. He has some really big conversions, and I like what he's been able to do for us uh, in limited action. Well, first and goal now. Need this one. Seals Jones. We could have him on a streak. Not sure, though. Uh, possibly the fade route as well. That, we're going to do it. We're going to go for it. We do have Seals-Jones, and he's going to catch it. Ricky Seals-Jones. Audible decisions by head coach C.J. Smalls, even though I second-guessed myself about five times and almost got a delay game penalty. That was a good pass lead by me. That was a good pass by Cam. It was a good adjustment by Ricky Seals-Jones. And we got ourselves a shootout here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look now, but we got ourselves a good old-fashioned Texas shootout in Las Vegas. We're going to send a little heat at him. If this is a play fake, we could be in trouble. It is not, and Porter Gustin, he's, we've also called Porter Gustin's name quite a few times this season, and every time we do, it's been something good. He's able to wrap up Zamir White in the backfield there. I like what Porter Gustin showed us so far this season. Not mad at it. Carr's going to come out single back again. Got to watch the play fake here. 
I feel like that's what he's going to do. It's not. He's just going to come out and pass. Should have been a completion to Darren Waller, but somehow it slipped through his grasp. Probably not going to see that too often. So uh, we got to do something with that, with that opportunity that they just gave us. So Carr is going to come out shotgun. White to his left. He sends Hunter Renfro in motion. And he has Devontae Adams, who makes a man miss. Wow. Ha ha, Clinton Dix not able to wrap him up. And that's the first time we called Devontae Adams' name on a big play. He broke the tackle of someone. Not sure what Janoris Jenkins was doing there. Landon Collins is just with a terrible effort. Landon Collins, Janoris Jenkins, our two best players. They've each made a one good play each so far this season. But aside from that, haven't liked what I've seen so far. So we got a good one. Johnny Stanton goes to talk to Cam Newton about something. Not sure what, because those two aren't in the formation together too often. Of course, Stanton is our fullback. So 31-28 is your score now. Back and forth contest continues. Cam will start this drive off single back, and I like what I see potentially with D.D. Westbrook. If he can get some early separation, he may have something. And he does get the early separation, and he hauls that laser in from Cam. Perfect accuracy touch pass. I know you guys like the the uh, pre-snap pre -snap reads by your boy here. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. You know, I, I'm known to make some terrible decisions as well, so I'm just trying to get by with this cupcake team. D.D. Westbrook, 5 for 90. Love the output there. And we're going to come out eye form. Going to try to get back to Tony Pollard here. See if we can bounce one out to the outside. We are not going to get blockers. And Pollard, for one of the few times today, will be stuffed in the backfield. You have to like his output so far. He's played a very good game. Second and 11 now. We're going to put Sanu on a drag. We're going to put Pollard on an out route. We're going to try to see if we have... We could have some options here. Something materializes. We do have Ricky Seals-Jones, and that's going to be intercepted. It was a bad pass from Cam Rocky, a sin. Second string corner makes that interception. I don't think it was a bad read. I mean, we did throw in a triple coverage, so I guess one could say that it was a bad read. I just think that uh, it wasn't a good pass for Cam. There, Devontae Adams, four receptions for 130 yards, two touchdowns. Other than that first quarter, we have not had an answer for Derek Carr in this offense. So we got to see if we can get something going here. And there's going to be Devontae Adams again. Maybe time to throw some double teams at him. Carr now at 345. Are you kidding me? I knew that he was having a good game, but I did not think he was approaching 400. We're going to send a little bit more pressure Carr's way. That's going to be a give to White. And he shakes off a tackle. He has uh, space to run and picks up about 16 Somebody had him there in the backfield and wasn't able to wrap him up. And slowly you feel this game starting to slip away. Not over yet. Certainly not giving up. Uh, but when you have Zamir White breaking tackles like that. And Derek Carr approaching 400 yards. You just got to be a realist. You just got to be a realist. And... That last INT by Cam, that was a killer. Car is going to come out empty here. We're going to shade inside. I feel like that's where he's going to go with the ball. We did have some pressure. We're going to get roughing the passer, but it's not going to matter because Devontae Adams, the Fresno State connection, is going to haul it in for a second touchdown. Danny Shelton's going to be the guilty party, I do believe. Defense. And he is. So, of course, Josh McDaniels and the Raiders will decline that. Penalty is declined. Because, duh, of course they would. 
All right, so it's a 10-point game. 9.53 to go until the end of regulation, and we're still in this thing. I mean, 10 points in the NFL, you know, that's not a lot. But you just have to figure with the way that we have not been able to stop Vegas since the first quarter, it's going to take a lot. We're really going to have to buckle down here and make something happen. We do have Bobo Wilson catching it in the middle of the field. Cam Newton, 226, 1-1. One one. Hasn't really had a... He's had an okay game, I guess. Decent game. Hasn't really had any of the, any of the uh, really big plays that we know. <laughs> I guess that we know he's capable of. I don't know. All right, so second and seven here. Ball on the 22-yard line. We have Seals Jones making the catch. Cam was hit, almost sacked. But Seals Jones able to bring it very close to first down yardage. He has now three receptions for 31. So need to convert situation here. You hate to say this is the ball game with uh, eight and a half left, but you just kind of get the feeling that it is if we don't convert this. And we will barely by the skin of our cleats. What? Which makes absolutely no sense because cleats don't have skin. But uh, you know what? That's okay. I said it. So we're going to see if we can get Pollard here on a little screen. Haven't tried to hit him on that yet today. Not sure if it will work, but we're going to try it, and it will not. So still a lot of time left. I feel like we can still run the ball with Pollard. We don't necessarily have to go into pass or bust mode, uh, but... We got to start breaking off some big ones with Tony. Need that. He does get a block. He is able to take it outside. Does pick up a decent gain of five. We're going to need more of that. We are definitely, definitely going to need more of that. We're going to have to probably pretty soon get away from the run here. But I don't think that we have to yet. As Pollard breaks tackles, should have been stopped in the backfield. Pollard is very close to the century mark which I am just uh, ecstatic about. I thought that was a very good acquisition by us. I really, really felt good about that pickup. Watch out for Bobo Wilson here. He has Chandler Jones on him. This could be him, and it will be, and we're going to pass it to him, and he's going to catch it. Every time we have a linebacker pressed up on single coverage against Bobo Wilson, we go to him, and I would say nine times out of ten, he comes down with it. That's an easy read right there. That is something that if they're going to give it to me, of course I'm going to take it. Why would I not take it? I would be a silly boy if I did not take it. We're going to have Westbrook catching it, not able to make a man miss, but does pick up four. As we get very close to the five-minute mark here until the end of regulation. See if we can sneak this thing into the end zone. That would be great. We have Tony Pollard wide open in the middle of the field. He'll catch it. Good catch by Pollard. And we're not going to go away from him. We're going to stick with Pollard. 347 here. We have all of our timeouts. Ball on the five-yard line. Cam's going to drop back. He has Chase Allen, the rookie from Iowa State, making his third touchdown catch of the season. That's my man Fabio right there in the flesh. And look at this shootout, guys. Look at this shootout. I'll tell you what. Despite our record, despite our overall, despite a couple of ugly blowouts that we had, especially early on in the season, last week we hung tough. Let me be quiet here so I don't miss this. Last week we hung tough with Jacksonville. Should have tied yeah, that game. Good. And this Extra week we're hanging tough Raiders too. So depending on ball. what the Raiders do, we could get the ball back. We're going to have to stop Derek Carr. Now you got to figure this might be a run to Zamir White. Carr coming out single back in the bunch formation usually indicates a run. That will be a run. Jeremiah Adeocho and Danny Shelton able to wrap him up. But... Sticks were moved on that play. Oh, yes. Sticks were moved. 
the big taco in there as well. Haven't called his name in a while. I'd love to call his name. I love taco Charlton and I love tacos in general. So first and 10 here, car coming out shotgun. Going to let this thing tick down as close as he possibly can to the two minute warning. Zamir White with all the room in the world. Got to force a turnover here now. Got to force a fumble. Ball on midfield. And I expected to have to defend Derek Carr. I did not expect to have to defend Zamir White. And it looks like we are going to have to do just that right now. White's going to get it. Quincy Roche. Called his name a few times too. Uh, hasn't, hasn't really seen much playing time. But we have called his name quite a bit. I'm going to save. I'm going to call a timeout after this play. Don't worry. But I want to save one just in case they do pick do pick up this first down and do move the sticks. I want to have one more timeout at my disposal. It's going to be a fake give to Renfro and a give to White. We'll stuff him again. Javelin Gidry in there as well as Landon Collins. Now we'll call our first timeout. So defense, where are you at? Where are you at? You showed up at the beginning of this quarter. You showed up last week against Jacksonville. Can you show up again? We are able to stop them fourth and five. And this is not an easy field goal. Raiders might punt this. I wouldn't think they would go for it. They are going to punt it. So how about that? How about that? We have a chance. Shades of the Jacksonville Jaguars game all over again. But we have a chance. We have a chance, my friends. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. But we have a chance. And in this league, sometimes... All you need is a chance. But we're going to have to have protection. We're going to have to have good passes from Cam Newton. Those two things don't happen. I'm not liking our chances. There's Chase Allen, rookie, Iowa State again. We just called his name last play. We're calling his name again this play. You got to love that. Only one timeout, though. Got to be careful. I should have hurried it up, but uh, I... I gotta have time to get set. I'm not the best facilitator in the hurry up offense. I'll be the first to admit. We have Seals Jones in his spot. Gotta get out of bounds here, we do. Close to Justin Rohrwasser territory, not there quite yet, but we're close. We are very close. So first and 10 now, what's Cam Newton got? Can we pick up our second win of the season? Or will it be another valiant effort only to fall in the final minutes? We're going to find out. Cam throwing out of a sack. That's not going to help. Got to get him some better protection back there. So second and 10 now. 22 seconds until the end of regulation. Ball is on Vegas's. 39 yard line. I like Sanu on a streak here. Not gonna lie. And he we have Sanu wide open in the middle of the field. He's gonna catch it. We're gonna spike this ball. We're gonna get ah uh, nope. We gotta send it to OT now. We gotta send it to OT. We have to. Four seconds, we have to. No question. They're gonna ice us again. PTSD kicking in here. PTSD kicking in hardcore. This just happened against Jacksonville. And Justin Rohrwasser, a chance to totally redeem himself from last week. Kick is up. And this time it is good. So Justin Rohrwasser. Missed it to send it to OT last week. This week he is clutch. Ice in the veins. They say tails never fails. And we have won the toss. Texans elect to receive the ball first. 
Can we put the cap on this thing in OT? Regardless, this has been a fun game. This has been a shootout. 38-38. Over 70 points, 76 points. Fact check me on my math in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm trying to do math and also trying to win a football game here, so give me a break. It is 76, though. But let's stop talking about math and let's talk about football, shall we? Cam Newton heading onto the field. Can we get a walk-off TD? And can we get out of Las Vegas with a W? That is the question of the day. I think we go back to Pollard a bit here. If he can uh, get something going. He does. He breaks tackles. He shifts. He's doing the shimmy. Pollard over the century mark now. We had great patience on that play. Looked like we could have been stopped in the backfield, but we let a couple blocks develop. We started right. We cut back to the left. Pollard found the middle of the field, and he is able to convert. First and 10 now. Ball on the 38-yard line. Cam is going to come out single back. Muhammad Sanu could have single coverage outside. Cam's going to roll out, though. And we have Ricky Seals-Jones with time. We found him again in his spot. Please hold on to the ball, Ricky. Oh, Ricky. You got to hold on to the ball, man. He does. He keeps that thing close to the bread basket. I think that we just unlocked a cheat code with Ricky Seals-Jones, though. Because that is his spot. He, time and time again, gets open on that side of the field. So we are in deep in Raiders territory. Not quite in the red zone. I think they call this, uh, what, the green zone. And look, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. We have to audible this to Westbrook. They only have Chandler Jones on him. And we're going to throw it to Westbrook. And we're going to catch it. Seam again on the streak. You have to love the play recognition. If you're going to show me single coverage with Chandler Jones, no help on the outside, safety deep, I'm going to snap the ball and I'm going to throw it after Westbrook's taken three steps. All right, so here we go. Ball on the 13-yard line now. We're going to flip this outside play to Tony Pollard. Chandler Jones might give us some trouble out there, but I want to keep it on the ground with Pollard. We will. Pollard has blocks. Pollard takes it to the end zone. Walk-off touchdown by Pollard. He's our new MVP. Tony Pollard puts the icing on this cake, and he says, we're going to the casino tonight. We're in Vegas, baby. We're partying. What you know about it? I don't think Tony Pollard said any of those things, but Make believe Tony Pollard in my head said that. And how about that? Funnest game of the season. Josh McDaniels can't believe it. Cam Newton can't believe it. Cupcake McGee can't believe it. I can't believe it. My wife downstairs hearing me recording probably can't believe it. And that was a shootout. Could be an early candidate for game of the year. Cam Newton, Derek Carr both played great. Cam passed the ball 40 times. Got to check his yardage. I know Carr went over 400, but got to check the yardage from Cam. 44 to 38 is your final. Brand new addition, Ha Ha Clinton Dix with the pick six. Early in the first quarter, on the first drive, I believe, we're going to upgrade his hybrid. It's going to take him to a 74 overall. Plus one to acceleration, two to man, and one to zone. That's not too shabby. And Lamont Galeard, bet you forgot about him. Our center, because Justin Britt's injured, we'll give him an upgrade to power. But how about that game? Man, oh man. Let's check the box score real quick. This is going to be a longer episode because obviously OT. But let's check the box score. And how ironic that we just gave Pollard the big contract after he turned down our initial contract we decided to pony up the dough gave collard collard gave pollard a big contract and how does he reward us let's see how he rewarded us shall we 
He rewards us with 124 yards, 5.4 yards per carry, three touchdowns, and the most important, the walk-off touchdown to win it in OT. Derek Carr did not reach 400, actually. Cam Newton did, however. 402. Carr with 392. Five TDs. Did have that one pick. Receiving Devontae Adams, my guy, tore us to shreds. 143. Three touchdowns. But look at Didi. Look at Ricky. Ricky had that huge touchdown in, I think that was the third quarter, to put us up. Darren Waller tore us up. Muhammad Sanu, four for 70. Not too bad. Bobo Wilson, five for 67. Chase Allen, our guy, Ohio. I keep saying Ohio State. Iowa State rookie had that touchdown. And then defense, you know, we looked good initially. As the game progressed, we started to get uh, exponentially worse. But Danny Trevathan with the sack. Javon Hargrave with the sack. I thought Porter Gustin got in there too, but I guess not. Interceptions, Rocky Sin had one, and then Ha Ha Clinton Dix with the pick six. You better pick up sticks before you see me in the end zone scoring six. Whoa, what? Hit me up if you want me to hop on your mixtape. But uh, anyways, that'll do it, guys. What a great game. I'm psyched about this. I hope you guys are watching this series still. I hope you're having fun. Hey, tell me how the audio sounds. I tweaked a bunch of stuff on my mic. Actually, I, I found out that I've been recording on my mic the wrong way this whole time. So what a noob, I know. But let me know how the audio sounds. That was great, guys. I'm going to go out here, enjoy the rest of my night. You guys do the same. I'll catch you next time. Until then, peace.